All right, let's do this. Guys, I'm going to show you how to win literally every game ever with Akali. We're currently in a stage in which Akali's ult has been lowered. We were supposed to get that E change, but you know what? I think I think we're just going to go for it. We're going to win every game with Conquer. It takes a little bit more time to wither them down, but the gains you get from using Conquer late game are just, in mid and late game and just in team fights in general are pretty ridiculous. Especially when you um, when you mix in the healing you get from Akali. But at the same time, I'm also thinking like Akali gets healing and people know Akali heals, so they're more likely to get <clears throat> anti healing, like you know, Morellos. So I feel like that's like a little negative in a way, it's like a mental thing. Like people associate Akali with healing, so they are more likely to get anti heal. A little bit of damage there. Anyways, uh, Azir went for the exhaust instead of the heal. I, I don't know about this, to be honest. I mean, we're gonna do some damage, right? So. I mean, we're gonna get the kill, right? <laughs> I, uh. All I can say is that Azir didn't really. He just, he just didn't exhaust, that's all I can say. He was... See, that's that's another problem with having um, exhaust versus heal on a champion like Azir that doesn't really have too much uh, mobility to escape. That heal, not only would it give you all that giant, you know, the heal itself, that movement speed would have been extremely useful for him to escape with. But overall, I give you a 0 out of 10, Azir. You should quit the game. Just kidding. I, I don't mean that. I'm not toxic, I swear. Alright. Anyways, we're going to take a little bit of damage here. Um, and you know, I think I just go back, to be honest. Or, never mind. What am I saying? What am I saying? It's too early to go back. Get that wave shoved and use a potion. It's all good. Also, this guy, whenever he positions towards me when there's a wave there, it makes me think there's a good chance that the jungler is literally about to kill me. Um, we do have our E. We have our shroud. We have flash. So I can play a little aggressive, but with that in mind... Huh. Their bot lane is missing. Okay. There's just... it. The value... Risk versus reward on me roaming right there is I lose two minions maybe, but I can potentially get a kill which will give me a Ravenous Hunter stack. It's just... You should do that every single time, in my opinion. Um, because, uh, not maybe not on every champion, because if you're pretty sure that your team is going to get the kill either way, but as a Kali, the gold is so much more valuable than any other champion. Like, truly, truly, like, maybe double the value um, of a normal champion until you get that Gunplate Spike. Not to mention Ravenous Hunter, and we got Alacrity. Um, and I think a lot of people are going to ask about Alacrity. So I guess I could just answer it now. Um, you could definitely go Tenacity, but I just, I really like that little bit of extra attack speed. And this is something a lot of Akali's do just for like, um, what's the word? It kind of just comes down to um, quality of life. Like, it just, it feels smoother to get a little bit of attack speed. And that's necessar not necessarily the best at all, but, and maybe a little bit of Tenacity would be nice. But Akali has Shroud, we're pretty confident in the way we play. Obviously, I'm not trying to justify it too hard. It's attack speed on Akali, but it's just a preference thing. But I've actually been saying that for like forever about Akali and the way you build her is literally just however you feel works. All right, I knew exactly the moment Amumu had to cue me, um, based off of where he was going, where I was going, and that was the time I was getting ready to sidestep backwards. So there's really no harm right there. But we're going to go ahead and pick up the bilge water. Um, just kidding, we can get way more damage if we don't. Um, so I'm actually going to go for more gold value and damage. So we're able to spend, you know, uh, almost all of our gold rather than having to keep 300 for boots. I want to get the gunway as fast as possible. Not in the market for boots. Alright. 
Hmm. Alright, push this in and go top. Now, I feel like he's actually going to recall. And... Uh, he's not recalling, huh? Okay. We're going for it. He's, he's warding right now. This might be a really bad time, actually, but should be dead. I'm taking that every time. Um, It wouldn't be... It's not necessary to do that, but... Because it's Riven, right? Um, Riven is also... We happen to have two of the most snowball champions in existence right now. But in general, I, I, I still think I trust myself more than my teammate. So that's just a greed thing, I'd say. I'm not even going to deny it. But yeah, as for now, we have a nice little lead. I'm going to go ahead and just try to push this wave. Stay kind of far back, save my shroud for when I need to. And now I have my shroud. I really want to get this wave done, so... I'm just... I'm good, dude. You're level 5. Alright, um... I'm going for Bilge Water. I just want to keep on taking little victories like that until we hit our level 6. Or until we hit our Gunblade, rather. What am I saying, level 6? Because Gunblade is when we can literally go brainless monkey mode and just dive them and one-shot everyone. Because that's how broken a Kali becomes. Also, guys, can you please, everyone, do me a favor. Hit that like button. Let's get some likes rolling. But alright, let's, um, let's continue on. I'm gonna keep this one minion, honestly, and just go roam. Uh, you're actually gonna lose a lot of health here. But not that much because your team is there. Alright, well, good, good, uh, good on them for rotating. I could get that pink, but I also need to get this wave. I don't want to use my energy to queue these three because the next wave's coming up in a second. So let's just wait. Use his push. The cool thing is I do have lifesteal now, so auto it up, auto it up. We're healing 15 for auto. Their top lane is here. Alright, and I need to know if they're on dragon. Which they're not. This guy's so low. He doesn't. Okay, he doesn't have barrier or, or heal. If I if I ta attach to him, he's dead. I have to end with my E though. Ah shit. I don't have my Mastery 7, unfortunately. What an idiot. Alright, they're a dragon. I, need to I can push this and actually help them. But I do need to get some healing up. I were healed. <laughs> Why did you? <laughs> I literally ignited so you can't flash away. Uh, apparently, that just did not connect in that sad mummy's brain. Uh, I really don't trust this. I need to get this pushed in, man. Luckily, I have Shroud now, so we're good. Like, you literally can't die a zero versus a Kali with half health. Um, just simply put, if he ults me backwards, oh wow. Now that is trolling. Alright. Um. Dude. I was thinking about waiting for armor, but, like, realistically. I don't see it being worth it yet. I don't think I need a Zonia's. Early, I feel like I'd rather get Oblivion Orb against their team comp and just literally one-shot them all. all right. 
Yeah, flash is not a flame uh, floor, a flame flame repellent. Sadly. Oops. All right. If my E was up instead of me using like an idiot, that would have been really cool. Dude, I really feel like just forcing them to 1v3 me. I feel like I win this. Come here, Mumu. Cue me over the wall. You're really good. You're, you're a sniper. You're a, you're a good old sniper, dude. Come on. Nope, not doing that. But I will do that. Not worth it. Ah, shit, there's a minion. There's a there's a tower with one auto. I'm greedy. All right, goodbye, sir. I will take that and um, peace out. All right, so good stuff so far. Just small lead turns into big lead. This is literally like a Kali 101. You just them and then run away wait for cooldowns and I think the biggest thing that can stop a lot of Akali players from getting fed is just being impatient like you rely on your ult so don't don't get it twisted don't be an idiot you rely on your ult so what do you do when you don't have your ult don't do anything like you farm you maybe go for tiny trades everything situational but come on Um, I see Mumu there, so I can play a lot. I can play with this guy a little bit, but I don't really want to like mess around because I feel like roaming could be more beneficial. At this point, I'm not really worried about getting ganked, so I already have a pink board down. I'm gonna actually go around for a gank. Ult's coming up relatively soon. This is a good situation for us. This is a really good situation for us. It does not matter. Um, Ash Arrow is down. God, she turned back into that. I literally played that terribly. Oh my God! I meant to. I didn't press. <laughs> I didn't press the right number on my on my thing. I wanted to use my pink gunblade Zyra to one shot her, then move on to the next target. I literally butchered that like a like a monkey. Whatever. Luckily, Ash tried to uh, be noble and help her team, like heal them to escape. But all did would end up giving more gold. All right. Guys, let's do this. I feel like Darius could be here, but I also don't. Yeah, I wanted to test my limit, honestly, at this point. Okay. Um. Well <laughs> then. Guys, best room page for now is, a, is Conquer. Indeed. Guys, here's my room page. I want to say right now, Alacrity is debatably bad. <laughs> I do it for my own personal interest. Um, I think that as a default, if you're playing Akali and you're not the board, borderline trolling, I would say you go for um, Tenacity. It just is going to do more overall. But with that said... YOLO. Uh, but yeah, overall I'd say these, this is probably the best rebage. You could go um, that one, what's that even called? You can go for that Taste of Blood instead of uh, Ravis Hunter or Sun Impact if you want. If you're against a really hard matchup like maybe Kled or LeBlanc. If you're not that good with the Kali, maybe you go Taste of Blood, but in general. Yeah, this is at the point where, um... Oh boy. Uh, 
Oh, we did it. Oh, also, I should mention right now, guys, if you haven't seen my Akali mechanics guides, um, that's how you do stuff like this, like E over from, you know, one wall to the other. They're very hard, but they, if you watch the guide, it helps you out a lot. And these are situations that are super useful. Like, just because they don't happen every game doesn't mean they're not very, very useful to know. So definitely check out the guide. Alright, so we're 11 0 and 3 right now. We're popping off, we're popping off. Let's see, we'll like be able to take this turret out. Or am I going to lose all my health? 50 gold, baby, 50 gold. I know you want those chickens, buddy. I don't know about that one. That was queuing into about 500 rafters. Mm. All right, this guy should be dead. PKD, hey, KDA, you know, actually, you know what, no, I would still have a 12 KDA, technically, the first one, the first one's free, as they say, wrist in peace, alright, um, alright, I'd say that is a little unfortunate, but, it's to the point where, it seems like we're good, I don't really know, I feel like this game was pretty straightforward, throughout most of the game, but I would say if one lane is losing, especially bot lane, definitely try to camp them. Um, and then, like, you have to look at each matchup individually. So, like, Riven versus Darius, they both do a lot of damage early and mid. So, probably you could gank the top lane easy. Uh, if, if you had, like, a Nasus versus, versus a, a Riven enemy team, where Riven can just dash away and Nasus does nothing to help you, then don't gank that. But, like, right here, Ash and Zyra both... Immobile champions that you can one-shot as a Kali, which is why I really like to gank their bot lane a lot. Alright, I'm just gonna auto to heal up. And I don't really need to press any ridiculously. Oh, they're gonna get that. Yeah. Considering bringing this, pulling this to the corner, so they lose line of sight or lose vision, but it looks like they're not um, coming anyways. And here, normally, if I'm in my own blue buff, I would use my shroud to get energy to take this faster. But because we're in their jungle, you never know what the hell you're gonna find. We might find a wild Darius. So I'm gonna need my shroud, but the energy refresh would be really nice usually. I think we're closing the game out, so I want to I want to be a part of this action. And that is game. Okay, wait, wait. All right, a GG, well played, everyone, guys. Do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe, please. And uh, yeah, GGs, GGs.